Hello, hello, hello. I hope you are doing well and that you are healthy and safe wherever you are. I am making this video to raise awareness about what is happening in my country of Nigeria right now. Right now, for the past, I believe, six days, maybe seven days, there have been protests. Um, there have been protests in Nigeria against SARS. SARS stands for Special Anti-Robbery Squad. It is actually a part of the Nigerian police. SARS was created in 1992. It's supposed to do exactly what it what its name says. It's supposed to you know prevent robbery. It's it's an anti-robbery -rob squad. However, in reality, what SARS does is harass people. They kill people. They can like. In Nigeria, they will stop anyone in the road who they feel like has money. If they if they see that you are dressed well, or if they see that you have like a smartphone or an iPhone, or um, they just or you're in a nice car, they will stop you and be asking you, uh -uh, "How are you? How did? You, how are you able to afford this? You must be like a thief. You must be doing four one nine to be able to afford this these clothes, this car, this phone, that laptop." They have confiscated, um, they have stolen phones, they have stolen laptops, they have dragged people to ATMs, innocent people, dragged them to ATMs and forced them to um, remove money from their account before they will let them go. They have arrested people for no reason um, and they only let them go when they pay them. SARS, honestly, they are armed robbers throughout the country. They kidnap people sometimes and extort money from their families, um, get ransom, demand ransom before they are released. This is what SARS is doing. SARS is a part of the police and they are literally killing Nigerians. During these protests, they have killed people. Like there have been protests that are led by our beautiful Nigerian youth all throughout Nigeria, from just to Delta to Imo to Lagos, like people, especially specifically youth. Honestly, I feel like most of the people who are in the streets right now, the vast majority of them are probably under 25 years old. Like this is massively led by the youth. And all that they are saying is, please don't kill us please don't kill us, please stop killing us. That is what they are saying. And as they have been protesting, they have killed protesters. Um, SARS has turned tear gas onto protesters. They have shot protesters. They have turned fire hoses that are meant to put out fires onto human flesh. Like literally just peaceful protesters saying, please don't kill us, have been met with murder. Like, the, like SARS has been murdering them. And so the demands have been end SARS, end SARS and end all police brutality. And at this point, this is a global, this is a global fight against SARS, against SARS because people are dying, honestly. They will stop anyone in the road. They will harass anyone. They commit sexual violence, physical violence and capital murder. And there is no repercussion whatsoever for just slaughtering human beings at all. And these politicians, a lot of, I mean, our president, Buhari, he's 78 years old and he's leading a country that has a 60% population under the age of 24. He has no, he's like, does not care about what is happening. In fact, he is benefiting from all of these SARS extortion that is happening on the streets. Where do you think all that money goes to? All the hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of Naira that these SARS police officers are collecting, are extorting, are stealing. Where does it go? It goes to their boss and their boss's boss and their boss's boss and it reaches the president. That is why the president has been mostly silent about what is going on because he benefits. I don't understand how a terrorist organization is allowed to operate and be called police because that is what SARS is. SARS is a terrorist organization and it's not about police reform. It is about ending police brutality because Nigeria in so many ways, like so much of the infrastructure of, of Nigeria, it's like runs on bribery from anything you want to do. It runs on bri bribery and you have that reflected in the police. And so what, 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 people in the streets right now, because there have been protests everywhere from the U S to Europe, in Nigeria, as well as throughout Africa, saying end SARS, end police brutality in Nigeria. Um, and so what, what, needs, what we need right now to continue to be in solidarity with people in Nigeria and what we need in terms of us continuing to support this fight for freedom is to raise awareness. To raise awareness, please, you can share this video with anyone, any and everyone. You can donate and give money on the front lines. Give, you can donate and give money to 
people on the front lines because there is money that is needed for health care for health for people going to the hospital after being after being assaulted there is money that is needed for bail people need to be bailed out after they've been unjustly arrested and imprisoned there are there is money that is needed for you know water and all of that just to be able to keep people going on the road and other various like expenses to make sure that things are taken care of as well as to, to you know give funds to the lawyers to the lawyers who are working with protesters and supporting protesters and getting them out of out of uh jail it costs money so we need to continue to support what's going on use your voice if you have money to give please give it um if you have a twitter account an instagram account any kind of social media i need you to share this video i need you to go and tweet and sars now that is the hashtag that has been that is that is being used used right now i will the the hashtag changes has the has you know because this has been going on for some time so the hashtag shifts um but sars must sars must end sars must end now sars must go these are hashtags that are being used you can go and just see um what's trending and use use as many as you can the ones that are the most trending so that we can make sure that it keeps going make sure you use your voice please please this is like i can't even describe to you the level of of governmental corruption the level of police corruption and just so you know the nigerian police right now like the nigerian police that we have like they that police system was created under colonization under british colonization the laws many of the laws that we have on the on our books were created during British colonization. And it is out of that history that you have the creation of SARS in 1992. So you can see that the, the mentality of brutality, the mentality of hatred, of killing your own kind, it's very much tied to colonialism. But we can't blame colonialism because these are Africans killing Africans. These are Nigerians killing Nigerians. People that look just like you. Like when I think about it, it's just like, I can't even, every day, these protests, I wake up, and I have to look at the news to see what is happening in my country. As in these SARS police officers are just opening, opening their guns and just killing people on camera. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. In fact, recently they started collecting people's phones and erasing them so that they could try to hide the evidence. But there's too many people and they can't do it. And we are seeing all the videos. In fact, was it not in Surulere the other day? Like yesterday or the day before they actually shot somebody to the point that like their intestines were on the outside of their body and that person died come to find out one sars officer they, the person that they shot ended up being a plain clothes sars officer so it was a sars officer that killed a plain clothes sars officer because they thought that was a protester and then after they found out i think that they killed a sars officer they be then began indiscriminately shooting into the crowd in surulera and lagos like this is the madness that is happening in nigeria right now people are literally dying and our youth are putting their lives on the line they are fighting for a country they are fighting for a country that is killing them. Politicians that are patronizing them and condescending them and calling them Indomie generation, calling them Big Brother Nigeria generation. It is the responsibility of the people who have been in Nigeria for how many years? People who are 50, 60, 70 years old, who have, who have sold their souls to money because they can get money through, stars, through SARS and bribery and extortion. They have sold their own country. Their people are suffering. Meanwhile, these politicians are sitting in mansions. They're sending their children abroad to study in, in private schools. They're going, if you, President Buhari can't even stay in Nigeria consecutively. Like that man travels to, to London so much, it's like he lives there. Every time he's going there saying that he has to, he has to uh, see a doctor for an ear infection or whatever ear trouble. So you don't in in the in Nigeria, the most popular the most populous African country, Nigeria, African giant. You mean to tell me that you can't find one eye doctor that oh excuse me one ear doctor that can that can take care of your shit? What about everybody else who can't travel to go to uh, to go to <laughs> to go to England to deal with their healthcare shit? What about them? So I'm asking you, I beg, I didn't take God beg you, and my country is suffering and struggling. If the only thing you do today, if the only thing you take from this video is that you go on Twitter and you type hashtag SARS must end now, I beg, I didn't thank you because we need to shame these politicians. This international attention is stressing them because Nigerians, Nigerian politicians, they don't want to look bad in the presence of the rest of the world. So we must continue to use our voice from where we are to amplify what's happening in Nigeria so that we can transform this country into what it's supposed to be. I beg, I thank you.